Hey, let's do something a little bit different. Let's talk some college football. We doing everything they talk about. You know I'm everything a boss about. Not putting work and gotta toss them out. I'm really biting, they just barking out. I'm really riding, they just parking now. His street, what to talk about? See the big H when I'm walking out. Yeah. Hey, welcome to the Athletes Farm Podcast. Home to the locker room. Shout out, drop a comment, like the video, share with a friend. And we're gonna do something a little bit different, locker room. We are gonna talk some college football. We're gonna switch it up a little bit. We're gonna give a little bit different insight. And we're gonna dive into one of the most beautiful games in all in all of Earth. <laughs> all of Earth. This game is for me better than the NFL. This game, college football, is the closest thing to European soccer in America in, in regards to, you know, history, pageantry, rivalries. Um, you know, it doesn't get better. It doesn't get better than college football. And we have week zero starting this week. So one of the first things I want to dive into is why is college football great? As I mentioned, better than the NFL. A lot of a lot of parody, a lot of passion, a lot of, you know, dramatics. I mean, look at look at the graphics. And this is week in, week out. This is week in, week out. These are games that matter. Right. NFL could be a little bit more corporate in my eyes because that's why I'm a big college football fan. I'm even wearing my you mean uh, my you mean uh, polo right here to represent uh, for college football coming back. So we'll see how all this pans out. But the number but you guys are going to see the, the the stars of the future league playing these upcoming games. And this is about to be the most important season in college football history. You know, this season is going to be crazy for a number of reasons, right? And we're going to dive into that this year. We're going to talk to a couple of guests. We're going to talk about a couple of games. Week zero, we're going to dive into that a little bit. One big matchup uh, to really t- kind of pay attention to is Florida State, Georgia Tech. We'll dive into it. And at the end of the show, I'm going to tell you why. I'm going to give you the most important date this year in college football history. All right, not just this year, but college football history, and it's going to happen uh, this season, which I'm excited for, and I'm excited to dive into. So, one of the things that I wanted to dive into is one of the biggest changes this year in the in college football is the 12 team playoff. The 12 team playoff is going to be huge, and it's going to give us a lot of different type of scenarios. So. If we had the 12 team playoff last year, this is what it would look like. Now, just look at those matchups we would have gotten. All right. Missouri was a team that a lot of people slept on. Oregon was Oregon. Ole Miss, another team. Penn State, if there was a 12 team playoff the past eight years, Penn State would have made it six times. All right. And then the teams that they would have gone on and played. And this is why college football this year is going to be way more exciting, way more crazier than we've ever thought. We've also had a lot of different type of uh, conference changes, right? You know, you look at the you look at the Big Ten, you know, and we got teams from out west, UCLA, USC, Oregon, Washington, joining all these teams, you know, that are now considered the Big Ten. So how many teams come out the Big Ten? All right. That's that's going to be that's going to be something to keep an eye on. I know the similar position is the SEC, the SEC. They add Texas and Oklahoma. Right. And. The SEC has been known for being the most dominant conference. Sometimes we've had two SEC teams in the national championship. And, you know, now we're in a position where we might see two, three teams in the playoffs, right? Because, look, if I go back to this this playoff format, you got Alabama, you got Georgia, you got Ole Miss, now Texas. That would have been four teams for one conference, right? So those are the two conferences you're going to have to keep an eye on you know, this season and how they play out. And we're going to get a number of great games and we're going to talk about them this year. Trust me. You know, I, I got some friends that I'm rivals with. All right. We'll get them on the show and we'll, t- and we'll talk some ball. Another thing I want to dive into is, you know, this year you're going to hear a lot about the Florida Gators because that's my squad. You so, so is the University of Maine. We'll talk a little bit about them too. But the Florida Gators are my team. Florida Gators also have the hardest schedule this year, especially when you go down the stretch and you look at their schedule, five of their – last game stores and they're all ranked opponents. Georgia, Texas, LSU, Ole Miss, Florida State. Let me repeat that. Georgia, Texas, LSU, Ole Miss, Florida State. And we open up with Miami next week. 
next week. So it's going to be a crazy time for me, a stressful time. And you guys will get on. You guys will kind of get an understanding of that. But it's going to be a crazy time for college football this year in general. And I'm excited to talk about it. I'm excited to to dive into, you know, all aspects of college football and decide to get your opinion. So please, locker room, drop a comment, like the video, share this with a friend. All right. So what I want to do now is I want to dive into week zero. All right. Week zero in college football. You get a handful of games, but the most important game that we're going to see this week is over there in Ireland. All right. Air Lingus. College football classic. Two years ago, we got Nebraska Northwestern. Last year, we got Notre Dame Navy. This year, we're getting Florida State and Georgia Tech. I will give a shout out to my foe, Mike Washington, Shady Sports Network. He's a Florida State fan. We'll dive into you later in the season. But yeah, let's talk a little about this matchup. 12 p.m. Eastern time. It should be about 18, 17 over there in Europe. Some sometime, sometime around that. Um, uh, let's talk a little about Florida State. So Florida State's looking to come in after miss winning the check this out. They they win the championship, they missed the playoffs last year. All right, because of uh you know a lot of things that went on, but they missed the playoffs last year. They're looking to bounce back off off the momentum they had last last year. Um ACC champs, uh new quarterback, DJ Uy Younger All right, if that name sounds familiar, DJ Uy Younger started his career at Clemson. He was a great quarterback there. Um, couldn't really get, couldn't really put things together. Eventually, ended up going to Oregon State last year, where he was more developed and he had a better season. And then now he's down there at Florida State. Now he's down there at Florida State. So he was going to be leading the charge uh, for the Florida State Seminoles. Um, I hate Florida State. They're a rival to the Gators, but I got respect for Coach Mike Norvell. He's always been a good recruiter, even when he was at Memphis. And you see the turnaround he's had at Florida State, which is, you know, obviously makes things a little bit more complicated in the state of Florida. But I got respect for him. Needless to say, I still hate Florida State. The tricky thing about this game is that Florida State is going to be without their offensive coordinator. Florida State is going to be without their offensive coordinator. Now, you may say, well, they're playing Georgia Tech. Why does that matter? Georgia Tech is going to be a surprise team this year, believe it or not. They're returning almost everyone back on offense. So with that being said, should be, this has the capabilities of being somewhat of a high-scoring game. Uh, Georgia Tech finished 7-6 and six last year. They won a bowl game, their first bowl game in seven years. Um, they got a little bit of momentum heading into this season. So I don't think – so right now, if you check out the spreads, I don't think – I think Florida State is favored by 10.5. I think Georgia Tech may cover. I think it's going to be a closer game than that. I think it's going to be a closer game than that. I think uh, Georgia Tech, the thing with them is their defense was terrible last year. So how do they look this year heading in, uh, heading into this year versus Florida State and, and in the ACC? Um, Georgia Tech is 1-5 in, in their last six home openers. Obviously, that doesn't favor Georgia Tech. But this is a neutral site field, right? Both teams, similar travel range from, you know, Georgia, Florida, over there to Dublin, Ireland to play this Aer Lingus uh, College Football Classic. So we'll see how everything pans out. Um, Florida State defense definitely is not the same. That's all Georgia Tech's offense. Again, a, another year with everyone back. We all pans out. I'm going to make a pick. I'm going to say Florida State wins. I'm going to say Georgia Tech covers. But I'm not a gambling man. <laughs> so we'll see. We'll see. But drop a comment. Let me know who you think wins this game, Georgia Tech, Florida State. And let's uh, let's talk about it a little bit uh, on, on the channel and keep it interactive. All right. Um, lastly, beginning of the show. I said that there's an important date this year that we should all keep an eye on. That can be the most important date in college football history. That date is October 12th. Mark it on your calendars. Don't make any plans. If you got weddings to go to, back out of them now, because this is going to be the most important date in college football. Just look at that slate of games. You start with Ole Miss LSU SEC battle. Then you go Florida, Tennessee SEC rivals. And then you go Ohio State, Oregon, a match we've seen a couple years ago. But now this is different because now they're conference foes. Then you get Penn State, USC. That's a sneaky game. Both teams kind of similar in terms of trajectory where they are and where they could be. And then we got Red River, 
Oklahoma, Texas, right? This week, October 12th, is going to be the most important week in college football history, all right? So, again, mark your calendars, set a reminder, don't do anything. Just sit on your couch, a couple beers, or whatever your drink of choice is, and just watch some college football because it's going to be exciting. And my goal is to get you guys excited and engaged and enjoying college football the way I do and the way most people do here in the in, in America. So we'll see how it pans out. But go Black Bears. We play next week. Next week is week one. We'll dive into a lot more games and matchups, a lot of things to keep an eye on. Uh, go Gators this year. It's going to be – Let's get, we're trying to get back to relevancy. So let's hopefully they, let's hopefully they win. Um, but thank you all for tuning in. This is the first episode of the College Football Show on the Athletes Fun Podcast. And uh, I'm excited to see where this goes. Again, drop a comment. We like to keep this channel interactive. And let's uh, let's talk it out.